It's hard to pay the bills when you don't know when the next phone call will come to offer you work. Whether it's delivering pizza on a bike or driving a stranger to the airport, the internet has created new atypical forms of employment. The European Parliament is calling for a strong legal framework that will bolster and strengthen labour rights in the changing digital economy. From my viewpoint, this is a case where we do need European law, because otherwise we'll have workers competing against workers and companies competing against companies uh, between different member states. The European pillar of social rights is meant to tackle long-term social challenges for a generation of young Europeans. They have never been better educated and yet they face a far more precarious job market than their parents or grandparents. Jobs have changed in general, uh, whereas beforehand you had a full-time contract and you worked from 9 to 5, it is no longer the case. Uh, working hours have changed, uh, work-life balance is a, a very right question to be asked and this is this has changed as well. Among the objectives of the Parliament is to update existing social protection measures, like ensuring equal pay between men and women and coordinating health systems across Europe to make sure no one is excluded from social security. Still in the works, the pillar may be an effective tool to counter anti-EU sentiment. MEPs have set an ambitious wish list it's now up to the Commission to deliver.